Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. Eleanor Roosevelt. Corwin loved to discuss ideas, but tonight I'll be discussing people, actually just one person and a few of his ideas. The Corwin Hardin Memorial Scholarship. Why Corwin? To understand the driving force for this scholarship, the history of Corwin's life as a symbol of its meaning, we begin our journey right back here in the Columbia River Gorge in the early 80s. Or perhaps we begin even earlier at a science museum touring Europe from the comfort of a Bedford delivery van, stripped to carry windsurf boards and camping gear for young Corwin and his parents. Toddler Corwin would have watched intently as his parents performed live at planetariums or schools. Corwin was not coddled as a child. He played outside and learned how, to, how nature works. He splashed in the water and dug in the dirt like any other child. As a teenager, his competitive drive pushed him to the front of the windsurfing pack. He learned to build things with his hands, composite windsurf fins, a truck canopy, piezo ceramic force transducers, and eventually kites. As a young engineering student, Corwin loved to solve problems with third order polynomials. He took on technical projects, not because they were easy, but because they were hard. He welcomed the challenge. Corwin surrounded himself with smart people, hardworking, ambitious dreamers who shared his passion for harnessing wind power, both for sport and for profit. He would be the one to windsurf or SUP his commute 10 miles across San Francisco Bay. He might arrive home late, but there was always a good story and friends and family to welcome all who arrived at the door. After completing his PhD at Stanford, Corwin co-founded Makani Power. Makani's Wing 7 demonstrator proved that a carbon wing could launch autonomously from a perch. Powered by electric motors, Wing 7's tether paid out from a spool, and then it transitioned to wingborne flight. Under Corwin's leadership, the Wing 7 autopilot learned to fly concentric circles. Power loops with the motors now acting as generators. Electrical power flows down the tether to the grid below. When the wind dies, Wing 7 transitions back to hover and takes the form of a multi-copter as the spool reels it back into the perch. Who here would have the audacity to dream of such a contraption? The ability to develop the technology and the leadership to see it through. Who here would do so while regularly attending dance classes? surfing and kiting for pleasure and fitness, all while fixing up a hundred-year-old house. Who here will continue to inquire and to learn each day to acknowledge the efforts of those around him and to remember to smile and breathe and bake bread for his fellow co-workers? Corwin made those around him better people. This scholarship, named for my friend Corwin, <laughs> will stand as a testament to his life well lived, an example for young students pursuing their dreams in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. Thank you. <laughs>